Hello gamers and welcome to another episode guide. In this video I will go over the entire first mission with you along with some simple tips and tricks to help you survive the backyard. We will go over food, water, and also what you need to craft very simple tools to help you survive. But mainly, we will focus on completing the two main objectives, which are to get the shrink ray going for the very first time and exploring the explosion near the oak tree so we can meet this fun fellow. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe now and turn on the notifications for more fun content. And visit me on any of my social media so we can chat, have fun, and also you can get stream schedules and updates for content. Let's get started. When we first wake up, it seems like the character is not quite sure of what's going on. All we know is that we are very, very small and there are some very, very big bugs. But before we jump too far ahead, let's make it to the first field station. Along the way, you will be able to gather some resources such as plant fibers, springs, sap, pebbles, and dirty water. Since at this point you have no idea what you need these resources for, just keep them stored in your inventory. Once you make it to your first marker, you're going to find your very first field station. Inside the tent you will find an analyzer which will help you analyze resources as you gather them. You will be able to analyze up to three resources before the analyzing station needs to recharge for several hours. But don't worry, there's going to be more field stations along the way and there's not that many resources to analyze. Once you complete the field station, it is a good idea to take a second to open up the crafting menu. Once you're in the menu, right bumper to the crafting tab. Once you're in the crafting, use the right and left triggers to navigate the menu. Here you will have what you can currently craft. This list will get bigger as you continue to explore and analyze new resources at the field station to unlock new recipes. You will also see what resources you have available and which ones you need to collect in order to craft. Like in many survival games, your first order of business is to gather enough resources to craft a spear, an axe, a hammer, and maybe even a canteen. So you can start collecting more advanced resources that require tools and also you can go hunting so you can start cooking some food. But if you haven't figured it out by now, you can eat mushrooms to get you started. You don't have to wait until you get the tools to go hunting in order to eat. You can find little things along the way that are going to keep you fed. But at the very least, make sure to have a spear crafted before you leave the field station so you can collect water. It'll be a minute before you can craft a bow and an arrow. So having that spear is going to ensure that you can keep yourself hydrated with clean water that drops from mildew drops rather than getting dirty water from the floor. So now that you have a source of food and maybe some weapons and some tools, you're ready to take on the very first objective which is check out the weird machine. Now moving on, let's navigate to the weird machine and turn it on to figure out exactly what's wrong with it. To turn it on, activate the very top button. Once you turn it on, you will see that the lasers are either blocked, obstructed, or simply not working. The very first obstruction is a blade of grass, which can be easily knocked down with the ax. You did craft an ax, right? Okay, good. Let's move on to the second obstruction. The second obstruction is an interesting one. Follow the path of the damaged laser beam until you find a power cable that is attached to the machine. All we need to do here is clean out all the mites that are causing the disruptance. Jump on the cable and clean them all out. Then follow the cable down to the cave and clear out the rest of them. You will need a torch to go down this cave. Luckily, all the resources you need for a torch are going to be nearby, such as dry grass and sap. Once you have all your resources, turn on that torch, head down there and continue to clear out the mites off the cable. Now that all the obstructions are out of the way, let's go back to the machine and press on the middle button to activate this awesome cutscene. Now that the first objective is complete, we need to travel to the oak tree and explore the explosion. But where is the oak tree? There are two very easy ways to find this. Number one, I just tell you, you just head up north to this region on the map and you will find it. Number two, open your eyes, it's the only huge tree standing in the backyard. 
so you just head towards it. But along the way, I recommend that you are extremely cautious because on the path to the oak tree, you will find some very menacing looking bugs amongst those huge spiders that can kill you with just one blow. And in this point in the game, you have no armor. So I highly recommend that you just run away. Once you make it to the oak tree, try to find the entrance to the laboratory around the back of the tree. But again, be very very careful in this area because it's crawling with spiders all over the place and trust me you are no match for any of these spiders but once inside the laboratory you will come to find this panel the goal here is to get all the lights green and then pull on this lever to open all the doors at this point you get to meet a brand new friend that will help you understand what happens next. Alrighty my friends, I will be uploading more detailed guides for the crafting and building along with fun content and live streams for this epic adventure. So if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe now, turn on the notifications for future content. And let's have some more fun and epic adventures in the backyard. Catch you later.